Hello people, welcome to Code Framer. In this video, we are going to understand about the Boolean data type in Python. Booleans simply hold two values, one is true and other is false. It is as simple as that. It helps us to know the result of an expression or an object as true or false. They are extensively useful with conditional statements, as the result of any conditional statement is represented by a Boolean value. We will learn about conditional statements in detail in a future video. For now let us focus on Boolean data type and see how it functions. Boolean data type becomes extremely important to validate any expression or object. Before starting to learn about this data type, we need to first understand why this data type is so important. Following are some of my reasons. First, if you don't have Boolean data type, then we are only left with 1 and 0 to represent truthfulness of any expression or existence of any object. This will be a bad approach, because 1 and 0 are numeric integer data type in Python, which can be used for other purposes in a code block. Second, without Boolean data type, the code will become unclear. Third, without Boolean data type, handling logical operators becomes impossible. Fourth, Without Boolean data type, handling conditional statements will become extremely messy. You can point out your points as well to establish how important this data type is. Now having understood the importance of this data type, let us go to our lovely Jupyter notebook and do some coding to understand better. All the comparison operators return a Boolean value as a result. For example, if we print, 20 greater than 30, 30 greater than 20, 30 equals equals 30, and 30 equals equals 20, then it will return the output as Boolean values as you can see here. Since, the comparison operators return Boolean values as result, it is easier to use them as conditions in our conditional statements, which is if-else statements. For now, let me give a quick example of conditional statement, to show you how we can use the Boolean output to execute a block of code. For example, if we store value 100 in variable x, and then we store value 200 in variable y. Now if we write a conditional statement, if, x less than y, then print, y is greater than x. Else, print, y is smaller than x. So when we execute this block of code, the interpreter prints, y is greater than x. This is because when x is less than y expression is executed, the interpreter will check if the value of x is less than value of y or not. If it is true, then it will print the corresponding block of code. In this case, as the value of x is 100, which is less than value of y 200, it will print y is greater than x as the output. So if you notice carefully, the output of the expression if x less than y, is a boolean true, and due to which it is getting passed. Now if we swap the value of x and y, then we will get the result as, y is smaller than x. This is because when the expression, if x less than y is executed, then the interpreter will now find that the value of x, is not smaller than y, and hence the result of this expression will be false. Due to this, the interpreter will move from the if statement, to the else statement and then execute its block of code, which is, y is smaller than x. I hope that the concept is clear now. This is how the Boolean data type is so vital for any conditional statements. Now let us understand about the bool function in Python, which is used to represent any object in Python into a Boolean value. Remember, that a bool function will always return true, unless the object is either empty or numeric zero. For example, if we pass any string in bool function, then it will return true. Similarly, for an integer it will return true. Any float value, will return true. If we store a string, integer, and float values in variable, x, y, and z, then also the bool function will return true. So notice one thing very carefully here, if a variable contains any value, then we can check the existence of a value in that variable with bool function. This logic becomes extremely helpful with conditional statements. Similarly, 
if we have a list stored in a variable, and execute the bool function, then it will return true. Same is with tuple and dictionary. We will discuss these data types in detail, in upcoming videos. Now let us have a look at few more values. So if we pass, false value to bool function, then it will return false. Similarly, for none object, the bool function returns false, for numeric 0, it returns false, but remember, for numeric 1, the bool function will return true. For empty string, it returns false, both in single and double quotes. But remember, that if we pass a string to bool function, it will return true. For empty tuple, it returns false, but for tuple with values, it returns true. Similarly, for empty list, the bool function return false, but for list with values, it returns true. Same is with dictionaries. I hope that you are clear about these concepts, as these are the foundation of the Boolean data type. These concepts will help you a lot during logic and solution building in future. Now let us see the Boolean data type behavior with class objects and functions. I will create detailed video about functions and object-oriented programming, but for now, just to understand Boolean data type, I will explain these concepts in brief. If you do not understand class and functions now, it is not at all a problem. For now just observe how the Boolean values are returned. If we declare a class, for example, my new class, and then declare a method inside the class called, my new method, which takes self as the argument. This method just returns a string value. Now when we instantiate this class object and then we call the method, it will return the string value. So, if you pass this response to the bool function, then it will return true. This is just to show, how we can use a bool function to validate a response from a class method. Similarly, if empty string is coming as a response from the class method, then bool function will return false. I hope that this is clear. Now let us see the same for a function in Python. So, if we declare a function called, my new function, which simply returns false as the response, and then when we call the function, it will return a boolean value false or true. Similarly, if we perform a comparison operation in the function and return the response, then boolean values will be printed accordingly. This is to display how function can return boolean values as a response, which can be used to build different logics and algorithms. Don't worry about class and functions too much at the moment, just remember, that class and functions can return boolean values as a response for now. Can you guess the result of the following expressions in boolean? Just a quick exercise. Pause the video for a moment and guess the answers. Okay. I hope you have the answers. Here is the execution of those expressions in Jupyter. Since true, denotes numeric 1, and false denotes numeric 0 in Python, following results are printed. I hope that this video was helpful. In the next video, we will look at other data types in Python. Practice more to make the understanding turn into experience. If you like this video, then hit the like button, Share it with other code lovers, support the channel by hitting the subscribe button. I will see you soon and until then. Happy learning!